do but be a choice in her stupid comebacks and her stupid smug face. How could she say stuff like that? Rina, what are you doing up this late? Oh, look! Look, it's Yuma! Hey, Yuma! Why don't you sit down and have a little chat with your best friend, huh? Uh, sure. You're acting a little weird, though. I'm pretty sure that juice isn't even alcoholic. Why are you acting like you're drunk? Hey, I can get drunk on juice if I want to. It's a free country. I deserve to get drunk after she humiliated me like that. You mean Beatrice? Kirika seemed like she recognized her too. Who is she? What, Beatrice? She's a, a traitor to Welland. A traitor? Yep, she tried to steal an harmonic from the treasury, but they caught her red-handed, so she just ran off. Wow, really? I mean, I don't know about really. I don't know what actually happened back then. The Beatrice I knew just wouldn't have done something like that. <laughs> hey, Yuma? Yeah? Yuma, you have such a nice voice. Let me hear you whisper in my ear. Tell me all about how you feel about me. Uh, what? I, I thought you were about to say something serious. I'm super serious. I'm always serious. Ask anyone how serious I am. Anyway, I'm listening. Uh, I... I'm kind of on the spot here. Come on, gimme, gimme, gimme! I wanna hear all about your real feelings. <laughs> Rina. Kirika, a little help? What is going on down here? Oh, Lady Kirika? Well, see, I was just thinking it'd be nice to hear Yuma tell me I'm pretty. I've told you before I will not tolerate disrespect towards his radiance. No more trouble, please. To bed with you. Kirika, wait! How may I serve? What happened between you and Beatrice? It's not your concern, Your Radiance. Rinna pretends at being drunk to spout whatever she can get away with. It's all in the past now. Rinna and I... We were only children. It no longer matters. <sighs> Please excuse us, Your Radiance. Kirika clearly doesn't want to talk about Beatrice. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. So this is the soul of the Earth Dragon? Yes, you demand, and I supply. Well done, Beatrice. Fine work indeed. Oh, I'm sure I couldn't have done it without your precise orders. She speaks the truth, Princess Excella. Without your guidance, we might have wasted days, resources, manpower. If you have time for idle flattery, you can continue the search for the Dragon Souls. My powers cannot solve everything. I can only sense their presence if I have an approximate location to work from. As you command. Very good. See that the Dragon Soul finds its way to Joachim. Beatrice, we're leaving. Yes, Your Highness. Make sure this gets to Joachim. Hmm. Now that I think of it, I haven't seen him around. Joachim went to scavenge for Dragon Souls on his own. What? <sighs> What is he thinking? <sighs> Said he couldn't just sit and wait around anymore. Something about wanting to take his favorite doll for a test run? Without a single word to me, of course. <sighs> Academics. And now I need to send someone to chase him down. If he knew we had one of the World Dragon Souls here, I'm sure the man would be tripping over himself to get back. You need someone to go look for Yoahim? 
I'll handle it. You? Let me guess. You just feel like it. Something like that. I'm going out of my mind cooped up here in the base. A little walk might do me good.
That looks good. How much is it? Oh, hi. How have you been? Don't worry. I'll stop by again soon. You sure are popular. You're getting recognized on all sides. I know everyone here. I love going to all these stores, so whenever I go out... Oh, hey! Just a second! Looks like they're calling me over again, Yuma. Do you mind if we go? Huh? Are you sure you're going to be okay eating that much? I'm fine. Besides, everything seems to taste better than usual. Hi! Can I get the usual skewers? And the fried one right there, too. Sonia eats this much? It's kind of satisfying just watching her. You want some, Yuma? They use really good meat for these skewers. Sure, I'll try some. Mmm. Mmm, this is delicious! <laughs> right? These are the best in Astoria. And it's so juicy, too. I can see why you like these so much. I know, right? Everything tastes so good. Mmm. Sonia, if you keep talking while you eat... <coughs> I tried to warn you. Mm -hmm. Miyuma, need a, a drink. Huh? I mean, I bought this juice earlier. Give it here. Huh? Uh <sighs> Phew. Close one. Thanks, Yuma. Huh? What's wrong? Wait. Yuma, were you just drinking that? Yeah, I... I was before. Oh, so, um, that means... <sighs> hey, why didn't you say anything before I... I... I mean, you didn't give me much time. Oh, right. Y yeah, don't, don't blush, blush so, so much. much. I'm, I'm getting embarrassed, too. Okay. Oh, Yuma. Oh, I see. How's it going? Welcome.
It's all good stuff here. All right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Well done. Care for a song? Gathering the World Dragon's souls? What are they trying to do? They can't be. Do they want to resurrect the World Dragons? Use them against us? World Dragons, eh? Hmm. Well, they've awakened the Draco Machina from their slumber, and now... I wouldn't put it past them. Remember, they've already used normal Dragon souls for those damn experiments of theirs. Whatever they're doing, we have to stop them somehow. Um, sorry to interrupt, but what are the World Dragons? I still don't really know. Your Radiance does not know of the World Dragons? I keep telling you, I'm not the Shining Dragon. I've never heard of the World Dragons before all this. Well, you were cooped up in Gale Reds for a while. I guess it makes sense you'd be out of the loop. Well, don't worry. I can give you a little private lesson if you ask nicely. Uh, thanks. So, world dragons are basically the most powerful dragons there are. They've been around since the world began. There's five of them. The earth dragon, the sea dragon, the sky dragon, the dark dragon, 
and the good old Shining Dragon. But at the end of Ragnarok, the World Dragons sacrificed themselves to seal Deus. Nothing was left of them but their souls. Yet thanks to the Armonix, the Shining Dragon lived on. Though his body was destroyed, his mind remained intact. There are seven Armonix in existence, all of which were created from the Shining Dragon's own body. Long before Ragnarok, the Shining Dragon created these Armonix and bestowed them upon the people as gifts. When the Shining Dragon lost his earthly form, the Dragoneers played their Armonix for him. With that power, he persisted. I had heard the legends of your survival, but to see you with my own eyes? Truly, I am not worthy of such honor. Point is, the World Dragons were the strongest of their kind. And that's probably what the Empire is figuring, too. But the Empire has the Draco Machina. And they aren't World Dragons, right? Oh, definitely not. The Draco Machina are dragons that fought on the side of Deus during Ragnarok. They say Deus created them, but their power practically matches the World Dragons. They're kind of legends themselves. After Deus got sealed away, the Draco Machina basically went dormant. And now, Princess Excel has woken him up for herself. I think I get it. Legends say that Deus held power beyond any mortal, and aimed to use that power to reforge the world anew. The World Dragons rose to oppose Deus, with the Shining Dragon in their number, and so began Ragnarok. Besides the Shining Dragon, there are four other World Dragons. The Empire's got the Earth Dragon soul, so at least three. That's assuming the Empire hasn't snapped up any others by now. Right, but it's not like they could get all of them this fast. It'd be great to get all three, but we need at least one. Hey, Lady Kirika, I don't suppose you know where we'd find a World Dragon soul lying around? I cannot be certain, but I believe I know where to begin the search. The High Elves who allied with the World Dragons would have honored their souls and kept them safe in shrines. Yet I fear they would be nothing but ruins after so many years undisturbed. As we have discovered no such sanctums in the kingdom so far, there must be ruins yet undiscovered in this land. If we aim to find the World Dragon souls, I expect we will find them there. It's not a lot to go on, but it's better than nothing. Let's head into town and see what information we can dig up. <laughs> I'll take you all on! Yeah! 
on your mind. Hey! Ruins, huh? You want something other than the places everyone knows? Right. We're looking for any information on more out-of-the-way places. If you have any suggestions, we'd appreciate it. Well, I don't know about any actual ruins, but... You know Ladlam Caverns? That's where we went to say Primula. Yeah, they say that it was formed when part of the plane suddenly... Nobody knows exactly what's down there. Maybe that's what you're looking for? Might be some ancient ruins stuck in the back of that old cave, huh? This seems as promising a lead as any. I believe we should investigate. But if you're gonna check it out, be careful. I've been hearing some strange rumors about it. I hear the place is haunted. Chock full of ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? My goodness, Agnum, are you all right? You've gone so pale. Uh, nope. Uh, all good. Just, uh, just peachy. What kind of ghosts? Children. If you go deep enough into the caves, Undead children will stalk you from the shadows. <sighs> Just reaching out to you and screaming, Get out! Get out! Really, that's... great. I can't speak for the accuracy of ghost stories. But regardless, it seems we are bound for Ladlam Caverns. Right, let's go check it out. How's it going? Excuse me. <laughs> 